You were looking at the office desk of our producer, Don. <laughs> Actually, it's a, a smattering of uh, figurines, although Don calls them action figures. They're action figures. They're action figures. <laughs> That's right. They're action figures. <laughs> they're action from figures. From Bounty Hunter Toys. Michael Heddle, welcome back. Uh, we actually brought you back on the show because uh, we're, we're getting into garage sale season. Yeah. Driving around, of course, we had, you know, with the great weather and uh, some great deals to be had. But particularly, like in your business... You've had some people just come in with some stuff that they found in garage sales. There's gold in them. There are basements and driveways. Uh, a lot of people are even aware of it. Yeah. I mean, uh, the two reasons you have a yard sale is to get rid of some stuff, clutter in your house, to make a little bit of money. Uh, but meanwhile, if you look into it a little bit more, you can make a lot more money. Yeah. A lot. So forget the driveway and head straight to <laughs> Bounty Hunter Toys because exactly. you might have a little Bring extra money. Me. Bring okay, me. give me some more. examples. And uh, well, I'll give you a perfect example. A uh, lady had a yard sale last year uh, not too far from where our store is. Yeah. Literally around the block, I believe. And uh, this fella went there that's been to our store a bunch of times. Yeah. She had a bunch of Nintendo games. Those are ones on the far end. Yeah. And uh, she was selling them for a dollar a piece, which is really cheap. I mean, yeah. there, there's a lot of money in the games. Yeah. Anyways, he bought all 40 games, uh, he walked around the block, brought them to me, yep. and left with $150. Wow. So that's the uh, extra bit of money that she could have gotten if she just taken the time to walk around the block herself and yep. you know, see what they were going for. Yep, absolutely, because you know exactly how much stuff... How much this stuff is worth, yeah, and uh, for, the, you'll, for the most you'll part, pay accordingly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, and you've you've brought these on before. It's it's amazing, Nintendo. Uh, people come in, like dads come in and introduce their kids to Nintendo, and it's a great retro bonding thing. Well, it's funny, you know, in the world of console wars, where you have Xbox versus PlayStation. Yeah. Um, Nintendo is always king. Whether it doesn't sell the most right now or not, right. everyone knows Nintendo. Everyone had a Nintendo. Yeah. So that's why so we it's all a nostalgia thing, even though it's so advanced now with the consoles. Yeah. But there's still a ton of fun here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So we go into your store to get uh, set up in a Nintendo system. How much would it cost? Uh, right now, normal Nintendo, depending on what it comes with, anywhere between fifty to sixty-five. Okay. Maybe maybe seventy. Yeah. Just it really depends on shape of it. Yeah. Notice uh, online, like the Nintendo games, they can be pretty valuable depending on. They how... can, depending on the shape, the condition, the yeah. rarity of the game. Some right. some games were released. Uh, I wouldn't say limited release. They just weren't as popular. Now they're a little bit worth worth a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's always favorites like all Mario based games, Zelda stuff like that. Yeah. It tends to go for a bit more too. Now, you've brought in a ton of action figures here, and there's actually money, that, well, actually, this bag is actually... <laughs> yeah, that yeah, bag. This looks like a, just a bag of junk, old, discarded it is a bag, toy parts. It is a bag of weapons and accessories from the 1980s line of Transformers that a friend of mine picked up at a yard sale last weekend for, how for much? $2. For $2, and I'm holding a gold mine here it's, in much-needed parts. I could easily, piecing it out, I could easily get about three to 400 bucks for the stuff in there. Just the, weapon, the weapons the weapons are what make the toy. Okay, so give me an example here. Like if there's a, like a missing what from... Well, this, this one here, this Jeep, for example. Okay. I, don't, I don't think the weapons are in there for okay, him. Okay, okay. But he comes with uh, a missile launcher, a gun, a tire, a gas tank. So And the missiles are clearly missing from this vehicle. Everything's so if missing, If I yeah. found the missiles in this bag... <laughs> Well, would... here's the thing. Like this, you're looking at about $10. Oh, okay, right? yeah. Tack everything on him. He's got all those weapons everything. Easily 90 bucks. 70, 70, 80, 90 bucks. Boom. So you can see all these accessories. There's a sword here. For, yep. uh, sword, sword. sword I'd be able to sell for five dollars easy to someone that needs it for their for their uh, figure. I'm um, looking at here. There's another gun here or a missile underneath. There's a door actually for one of the other figures. So, yeah. What are these things for? Those are for a character called Scorpionok. He's uh, completed is about two hundred bucks. Scorpionok. Scorpionok. Big giant scorpion. Oh. It's, oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not getting a movie. There won't be a movie tie Actually, in there, he was it? already in the movie. He was in the first Transformers movie. He, bu he popped up out of the sand in the very first Oh, that's... That's Scorpionok. Oh. That, that's the new version of Scorpionok. Oh, okay. The old one's Price just went up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, my, my Little Pony, too. <laughs> yeah, My Little Pony. Seriously, everybody puts yeah, yard sales really cheap. Sale. I do, I do. Mm -hmm. Everyone puts ponies at yard sales, yeah. and they don't ask for much for them. And, right. Uh, we tend to sell them for five bucks a piece. Doesn't matter which one they are, they're just five bucks. Right. Package ones obviously go for a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's, what's the most valuable action figure right now? Uh, it's a little hard to say. There's kayak so guy? Many... <laughs> uh, for today, yeah, sure, kayak guy. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So I'm not familiar with this series. What's this from? It's, it's actually one of my favorite toilets when I was a kid. It's yeah. uh, made by Fisher Price. It's right. called Adventure People mm -hmm. or Adventureland. Yeah. Um, there was various stuff out for it. There was that, there was a shark hunting uh, set. Uh, there was a zoo set. There's just been, there's another one here for uh, Forest Ranger. He comes with little tiny sleeping bags. Even. Right. So there's been all these little sets that have been out for that line. And 
It was a great line when I was a kid. Yeah. Now there's a direct. Uh, I mean, with all, you know all the movie tie-ins too. If you're finding uh, old action figures from uh, Batman, for example. Yeah, or, Batman. You know, um, X-Men stuff. Pretty good yeah. value there. So again, don't sell it for fifty cents in the driveway. Take no, it to no, Bounty no. Hunter. No, definitely. Yeah, bring it to us. We'll we'll definitely give you more than fifty cents. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Tell them where you are. Uh, One eighteen Ottawa Street North in Hamilton, Ontario. Yeah. Um, we just expanded our stores. They're actually twice as big now, too. So uh -huh. we, we need more toys. Okay. So I'll take them. All right. Well, since <laughs> morning live, uh, collectors your way. All right. It's a couple of minutes away from 9 o'clock. We're back with some uh, uh, weekend uh, yard sale weather, hopefully. <laughs> uh, Brian Woods checking the uh, Father's Day and first day of summer forecast after this break.